In this video, I'm going to go over the top seven myths I hear about eBay dropshipping and whether they're true or not, including the number one myth slash question I get about eBay dropshipping, is it even allowed? What's up everyone, Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start your first successful dropshipping store. And we're gonna get right into the content here. So if you appreciate that, I would appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. The first myth I wanna talk about are shipping times. Now, a lot of people who don't do eBay dropshipping are afraid to get started with it because they hear that it takes a long time for customers to get their items. And that is not true in most cases. See, most people think that because they heard that items ship directly from China to the customers who buy items from us on eBay. But that's not the way I primarily run my business. I mostly use US-based suppliers, whether that's other retailers or other marketplaces based here in the United States, or because I use wholesalers who exist here in the United States and have warehouses here in the United States. Yes, you can use warehouses and suppliers in China, but you don't have to. The reason this rumor exists is because so many people are familiar with Shopify dropshipping much more than they are familiar with eBay dropshipping. And with Shopify dropshipping, you almost 100% of the time are going to be using a website called AliExpress to dropship from, and they are based in China. So they do have long shipping times, but with eBay dropshipping, you don't have to do that. You can use much faster shipping because we are using warehouses and suppliers based here in the United States. So myth number one, debunked. Myth number two is that dropshipping on eBay is a terrible idea because what happens if you list, let's say these Oreos up for sale and at the time that you listed them, they're only $3. And then after someone buys them from you, you go to buy them from your supplier's website and either one, they're out of stock, or two, they're suddenly $10. And now you've just totally messed up your sales. Luckily, there is software that solves this issue for us. So anytime I list items on eBay using other retailers or marketplaces, I always use a software that will allow me to quickly list those items onto eBay for me. Once I do that, the software has now linked up the item on eBay with the item on my supplier's website. So if the stock changes on the supplier's website or the item's price changes on the supplier's website, that change is automatically reflected on eBay for me. So I never sell an item that's out of stock and I never sell an item at a loss. That same software also exists for wholesale suppliers as well. So this rumor, this myth that you're going to lose money when you sell items or you're gonna sell items that are out of stock, it does come up, but really not that often because of that really powerful automation software that we use to help us run our eBay dropshipping stores. The next rumor slash myth about eBay dropshipping is that it's dead, it's oversaturated, or it doesn't work. But let me ask you a question. Do you shop online? If the answer is yes, then that's proof that e-commerce is not dead. In 2019 alone, over $600 billion was spent online. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that that only makes up 16% of the total amount of money that consumers spent in retail stores in 2019, which means that most money people are spending is being done in a physical store. But we do know that year after year after year, the amount of money that's being spent online grows and grows and grows. So in 2019, over $600 billion was spent online. In 2020, it was much, much more, and it will continue to grow and grow and grow Eventually, we will see e-commerce overtake in-store traditional retail sales, which means that e-commerce isn't dead. It's not oversaturated. It's actually still in its infancy. It still has a long way to grow and you can still get in early. Now, further proof that e-commerce isn't dead, that specifically eBay dropshipping rather isn't dead, is just the proof. I'll put up on the screen here, screenshots showing my students' actual results. Students who actually are doing eBay dropshipping actively, and you can still see that yes, 
this still works. Yes, you can still make money doing eBay dropshipping. And here is a proof right here. So myth number three, debunked. Myth number four, invoices and receipts. Won't your customer on eBay get angry if they buy an item from you on eBay and suddenly it arrives in a Walmart box or a Home Depot box and inside is a receipt or invoice which shows that you paid less for the item than they paid on eBay? Well, in reality, here's what happens. I've sold tens of thousands of items on eBay and have had very, very few customers complain about this. And those that do complain about it, very, very few of them take further action like leaving negative feedback. It has happened, but it's extremely rare. And I've usually been pretty good about getting that negative feedback removed by eBay. So why is that? Well, first of all, the customers are just happy to get their items. They don't actually look at what box it came in. They don't look for any slips of paper in there. They're just happy that they got their item. If it does say something like Walmart or Home Depot on the outside, depending on where you drop ship it from, who cares, right? Because customers know that we as sellers on eBay, we have to ship our items in boxes and we have to get our boxes from somewhere. And where can you buy boxes? Well, you can buy them at Home Depot, you can buy them at Walmart, or you can reuse old Amazon boxes. So customers don't really put too much stock into what the box is that the item arrived in. But when it comes to invoices, we have found that a lot of suppliers like Walmart don't include any invoices in the box at all. Home Depot doesn't include the price on the invoice. It's just a slip of paper with the order number. And wholesale suppliers that you work with, a lot of them will just blind drop ship for you anyway, or white label drop ship, meaning that there'll be nothing on the outside of the box indicating where the item came from, and there'll be no invoice in the box either. So this shouldn't be something that you're too concerned about. It is a very, very minor issue because customers, quite frankly, don't care. So myth number four, debunked. Now, myth number five is that starting an eBay dropshipping store is expensive. So let's break down the numbers. Now, to start dropshipping on eBay, the first thing you're obviously going to need is an eBay account. Now, luckily, starting an eBay account is completely free. They don't charge you to do that. Yes, you can always upgrade to a paid store subscription, but at the very basic level, you, you don't need to do that. So you're starting out with $0 for that. Now, eBay is slowly getting rid of PayPal, but regardless, even if you need a PayPal account, it's also $0 to sign up for a PayPal account. So doing pretty good so far. If you're gonna be drop shipping from retail websites like Walmart or homedepot.com, then you should definitely use a software to do that. This is a software that I talked about before. Now this isn't free. You have to pay for it every single month, but I do have a $1 trial that you could take advantage of that I'll have linked up in the description. And even after that, it's only about 20 bucks a month, which is really not that bad. Pretty much run your entire eBay drop shipping business. So if you're doing drop shipping from retail websites, it's only really gonna cost you 20 bucks a month because everything else is built into the price of the item on eBay. So you have an item on your supplier's website, costs this much, and then shipping, you add in this much, and then you have to add in enough for sales tax and then add in more for eBay fees and PayPal fees and a little bit more to make a profit. This is how much you list it for on eBay. That way, you know that once the item sells, you'll be able to cover your eBay fees, your PayPal fees, the shipping costs, sales tax, and the cost of the item and still have enough left over to make a profit. So just figure about 20 bucks a month to run your business. Now it can get a little bit more expensive if you wanna do something like wholesale drop shipping. Because with wholesale, I always think it's a smart idea to actually form an LLC, form a real business entity. And that does cost some money. Depending on the state, it can be anywhere from just about $125 up to being pretty expensive in states like New York that have some additional requirements. And then you have to kind of build relationships with suppliers, but all that sort of stuff is free. If any supplier ever asks you to pay to use them as a business to drop ship from, don't do it. You should never pay to work with a business or to have them drop ship for you. Really the only additional cost with doing wholesale is forming that LLC. But assuming you're not gonna do that, assuming you're just gonna stick to retail and not gonna form an LLC, then really you're looking at just about 20 bucks a month after your first month, which is really not that bad. So myth number five, debunked. Myth number six, returns. So the myth is that you're eventually going to get screwed if you're doing any type of drop shipping because returns are a huge headache 
and you're just gonna end up losing money. Well, let's look at what it actually is like when a return happens with eBay. The customer on eBay opens up a return case. You then accept the return, go over to your supplier, whether that's another retailer, another marketplace, or a wholesale supplier, tell them you wanna return the item. They then send you a prepaid return label. You give that label to your buyer on eBay. The buyer on eBay packages the item back up, puts the return label on the box, ships the item directly to the supplier. Supplier then refunds you, you refund the customer, and that's it. It's really that simple. So returns do not have to be, comp they're not complicated on eBay at all. You still never have to handle the inventory, which makes myth number six completely debunked. Myth number seven, and this is the big one. This is the one that most people ask about when it comes to eBay dropshipping, which is, is it even allowed? The myth is that you will get banned for dropshipping on eBay. Now, eBay specifically states in their rules that dropshipping on eBay is allowed as long as you are using wholesale suppliers. As I've talked in this video, I use a lot of wholesale suppliers with my business. So we know with 100% certainty, because it states in the rule, that dropshipping from wholesale suppliers is allowed. Now, what about dropshipping from retail suppliers or other marketplaces like I've been talking also about in this video? Well, I continue to do this and my students do it and my friends do it because it works. It is an extremely low risk way to get started selling online and doing something like dropshipping. And we have found that as long as we follow the other rules, as long as we keep our metrics up, we keep our customers happy, we ship out our items, use tracking numbers, eBay allows us to continue to do it. We have found that if they catch on to what we're doing, they will lower those listings in the search results, but they don't ban us for doing it. And everyone else will also get lowered in the search results, so it kind of creates an even playing field. And as long as you just kind of keep adding more items, you kind of overcome that kind of handicap that they put on those listings. But this is a really important rule, so I think you should really dive in and understand it fully before you get started with something like eBay dropshipping. So I have a really great video for you to check out right here. I think it's really important that anyone starting eBay dropshipping click on this video, watch it, because it does go into the eBay dropshipping rule much more in depth. So check out that video. I'll see you there in just a few seconds.